people it's Brittany and I am back with another video for today's video I will be showing you guys how I got all of these gorgeous curls in my head doing a flat twist my first thought was to do it like have bangs but because it's so hot outside and it, this hair this hairstyle period is so versatile I can do a flat twist out and then have, rock my bangs one day and then I can swoosh it over the next day and I'll put like a little bun right here the next day or a little ponytail and this style I'm loving it I cannot get enough of my hair because it's so soft and big and even though it's shrunken it's gorgeous so before you watch me do this flat twist honey thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and go share this video and check out the rest of my videos but yeah let's get to it so throughout this video i will be talking to you guys like i did the last time it's not going to be as much though because yeah i got a little bit bored so i had to watch my show while i was doing my hair and my fiance was blasting music in the background and y'all know about copyrights right I cannot stop doing this I can't I can't stop but yeah sit back relax and watch this video see y'all at the end of the video well y'all gonna see me throughout the whole entire video how that sound see you at the end of the video <laughs> but yeah enjoy this video guys Alright, so I am starting with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. As usual, I do my pre poo which is my deep conditioner treatment. If you guys do not know what that is, check out the link up there. And then I wash my hair with the Cream of Nature's products as always. But I will be trying the new Pantene line for natural hair. And I will probably do that probably in the next few weeks or so. I don't know yet. I know that I really want to try it, uh, Pantene Gold. So I am going to try that out and it's not a sponsored video. I'm buying all of these products and this is not a sponsored video. I just like to do videos just to do it. So right, what I'm going to do is, okay, so my hair is already probably 80% dry because I let it air dry and I let it air dry up like this so that it can stretch out while it is drying. and. All I'm going to do, I don't know, I don't know if y'all have these type of ideas or thoughts going through your head after you wash your hair, like what am I going to do with my hair? I never go in knowing exactly what I'm going to do with my hair, ever, never. It never goes that way. So I'm just winging it right now and I'm pretty sure that I want to do bangs. As you guys know that my hair is really, really long in the front and yeah, so I'm going to do probably a flat twist out with perm rods and yeah I'm just gonna get started so look at all of this I literally just shampooed and conditioned my hair and I did not put any type of leave-in conditioner on my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as always y'all know I love cream of nature's like literally I don't know what it is but it seems like once you use something and your hair adapts to it and it feels great when you use it, it's just that that that, that product, that line. I've been using Cream and Nature since I was little. Literally, my mom used it all the time on my hair. So my hair is accustomed to all the Cream and Nature products. I love it. My hair loves it. So I'm using the leave-in conditioner. I'm just going to spritz this whole entire side. And that really re-dampened my hair. You see this? It's stretched out. When I let my hair dry, when it's in like in a pineapple or something like that, it always stretches the back out. And that's what I need. The back to be elongated. Because y'all know my back always drying up and stuff. Okay, so I'm just sectioning it off. So I sectioned off the back side of my hair and I spritzed a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner inside the hair just to penetrate the hair internally because I want each strand to be, you know, 
touched with the leave-in conditioner yes touched so basically what I'm gonna do now is start on my uh, flat twist um usually my twist during the summertime do not I, I swear I don't know why my hair likes to do this but when I do twist outs or when I do any kind of twisting besides braiding my hair it don't last but since my hair is dry hopefully it lasts because like I told you guys in my last video if you have not checked it out go check it out in my last video I told you when stretching my hair and, and starting on dry stretched hair it always works better and it lasts a little bit longer so I'm just going to section this off So for my styling cream, I am using the Put In Perfection Curl Enhancing Cream from Cream of Nature. turn around so you guys can actually get the full effect of how I'm doing my flat twist I know I probably showed you guys how I do flat twist I don't remember maybe I did maybe I did it I kind of I kind of think I did but I think it was on my old channel and then yeah we ain't even gonna go into that let's just say I'm finna turn around so you guys can see how exactly I do my flat twist all right so i am faced this way so you guys can see a better view of how i literally do my flat twist so basically i'm going to section off a small little section and the rest of my hair away make sure that my hair is detangled which it is and then put I'm sorry, it's a finger side. <laughs> Put this amount on my hair. And make sure that my ends are really, really, really getting a lot of moisture because, yeah, the mug is thirsty. And then I take a really small piece, separate it into two and literally start twisting and as I twist I add in more hair it's like you french braid well plaiting your hair well french braiding not plaiting french braiding your hair or doing a dutch braid except you twist it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to twist all the way down you're done with that repeat so basically I am going to do flat twists all throughout the back section of my hair and once I'm done with that I will be right back to show you guys how I do the front section with this entire front section, I am going to be flat twisting in the direction my hands are trying to motion you towards my face. <laughs> so I'm pinning up half of my hair in the front so I can begin to do the flat twist on the opposite side. So as always, before I start flat twisting, I'm 
spritzing that leave-in conditioner onto that section and then I'm going to do a little dance and then part my hair in such a way where I don't know what I just did but I'm going to part it <laughs> so that I can start the flat twist and I know it looks like I'm kind of rough on my hair but I really I really am not I promise y'all because my head was not hurting when I was doing this but anyway let's start this flat twist I'm putting this moisturizer in my hair and then I'm going to smooth that entirely into that section of hair and then I'm going to flat twist so as you guys can see this flat twist is going outward which is away from my face look at that that's so cute and then when I got towards the middle section of my hair going towards the middle section of my hair I had to separate my hair even more because my hair is super thick so instead of doing a full long flat twist I separated the neck section into two and did two flat twists and those flat twists went the entire opposite direction as the other ones which was outward so this one is going inward the rest of it is going inward just to get a really nice curl pattern going so i'm gonna do that entirely over the entire i keep saying entire i am going to do this all over my head yes yes come through i'm showing y'all i'm gonna do that to the rest of my head too so just stay tuned yes and just like that i am completely done come through flat twist okay at this moment i was feeling myself a little bit too much because of what i was listening to and in a few seconds i'm gonna let y'all listen in on what exactly i was listening to i was just too into it like too into it I literally loved my flat twist at that moment so much that I could have walked outside just like that with no problem. Yes, B, get it. Okay guys, so I'm completely done. I played Just Dance for a few minutes and now it's time for me to completely finish my hair. So the next thing I do is get me some um, bobby pins. Yeah because it's very important for me to pin these two down because I want these to act as bangs. But before I do that, I'm gonna get perm rods and begin the perm rod um, process of putting perm rods on the ends of my hair. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. okay so it is the next morning i know i wasn't talking to you guys while i was doing my hair like i usually do but yeah i just wanted to chill and listen to music and watch the cleveland show <laughs> while i was doing my hair yesterday so yeah so right now i am in the process of taking down my hair so of course i literally sleep in a satin bonnet i've never done my hair like this i usually do my hair on look 
some of the perm rods came out already. So I usually do my hair literally on Sunday and I take it down on Monday for work. But today I decided to do it differently and I did my hair on Saturday and and I'm taking it down on Sunday. Mainly because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Y'all know y'all always have that hit or miss type of hairstyle. And this is literally my first time doing a flat twist out making like bangs in the front um on my hair and i really don't want to go to work looking like who did it what for so i am just going to <laughs> take it down on sunday so okay yesterday i said that i was going to stretch out my hair with a blow dryer just to elongate the twist and i don't know if i'm going to do that because i actually I don't know. I like this length that I have right now, so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I don't think I will. Even though it will look nice with elongated flat twist. It is what it is, though. I actually like my twist. Just literally just walk around with twist in my hair right now. I am going to do a tutorial. Not a tutorial. Just me doing... Um my first uh mini twist because i really like twisting my hair i don't know it just looked nice to me yay i'm so curly and stuff it's so pretty look i think i might actually do my whole entire hair like this one day i don't know it's so pretty Look at that. Look at this bouncy girl. So pretty. Look, my hair is so freaking long in the front. No matter what I do, it's still gonna be long but it's still shrunken a little look oh my god it's so pretty even though this one came out looser than this one was just shocking but i honestly i would literally go to work with my hair like this because this is pretty to me i don't know it's just pretty to me hmm new ideas All right, you guys already know the routine. Get you some oil, rub it over your hands. I'm not gonna use a lot of oil because I don't want my hair to be super weighed down by the oil because this is coconut oil and it's kind of thick on my hair, which is, which is good and can be bad sometimes. It's so pretty. Alright, as usual, I am going to start with this side of my hair. And pray to God that it comes out good.
Now for the front. You guys, I'm loving this right now. Let me just take down the front just to see exactly how it's going to look completely. Obviously, I like the crutch, right? <laughs> and this little thing right here is annoying, but oh well, it's gonna curl. It's gonna be its own curl. <gasps> oh my god. I can't believe I did my hair like this, but of course my bangs are too long. So what do you do? You pin them up right here. Oh my god, look at it when it goes back. Yes! Yes, Haruba. Obviously, I can wear this different ways. Um, I may not even wear bangs. I may just put it to the side and be happy. You know, because it looks really cute like this. And it's hot outside, so out of my face it will be. Oh my God, I love it. I have not done a flat twist like this in years. When I say years, I mean years. The last time I did a flat twist out and it, and I was okay with the length of it and I made sure to have the front a little shorter was literally when I was like, when I very first big, big chopped. Well, not big chopped, when I cut my hair. The first time I cut it, two, year, two and a half years when I actually cut it. So, I haven't really had bangs since then, and I wanted to test it out, see if I would like it. Like, literally, look, I left a twist in here. Let me get this out. I know that I love it. Oh my god, yes! Come through, Brittany, it's gorgeous. Now, if I wanted to, I can push this back and pin it up like this to create bangs but like i said i don't think i'm gonna do that even though it would look so cute but i don't think it's like <laughs> i don't i don't want it in my face in my face so because my bangs are a little bit too long of course pinning it back like this will oh my god there's another style yes put a little ponytail up there and be good come through I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it though. I'll figure it out. But these are all my results and my my curls came out really, really good. I love it. I can do anything I want with it. For now, I'm just gonna flip it over and talk to y'all like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And go check out the other videos. Also share this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Deuces, y'all.